Bybit is quickly becoming one of the most popular cryptocurrency derivative exchanges in the market. And you know why? The reason for this is because of the low fee, okay, that Bybit charges. Okay, aside the fact when you come to coin market cap, aside the fact that Bybit is actually ranking number two here. Another good thing about Bybit and why a lot of you know futures traders are actually migrating to Bybit is because of the low fee that they charge. Okay, if you trade with an exchange with a very high fee, it will be difficult for you to scalp the market and make profit. Maybe you might have experienced this when you scalp the market, you see that you are two, three percent in profit, and at the end of the day, when you close the trade, when you go to check out the result, you see that it is minus a certain amount of money in your in your account. It is because of the high fee that these exchanges charges. All right. So if you want an exchange that will give you rest of mind when it comes to trading and scalping the market and make some profit, then Bybit is that exchange for you. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to quickly make money with the Bybit exchange trading, whether features, whether you want to trade sport, whether you want to trade um, margins. Okay. All of this can work for you in as much as you adhere to all of the instructions or the step-by-step -step guide I'm going to give to you. Okay. And at the end of the video, I'm equally going to review to you how to get $500 worth of um, USDT to open either a long or short position on the Bybit exchange. Okay. So for all of this to work for you, you need an account with Bybit exchange and you can sign up. Okay. With the link I've provided in the video description. And for you to be able to qualify for the $500, you probably need to sign up with the link I've provided in the video description. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published, okay? Um, if you're already a subscriber, I appreciate all your effort for supporting me on this journey, all right? So one thing we want to do is to go to the Bybit exchange, okay? So the first thing you want to do is to go to the Bybit exchange. One of the problems a lot of persons have when it comes to trading crypto is which coin should they trade, okay? How do I know a coin that will pump? How do I know when to, you know, a coin that I'm going to trade and the rest? And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video, okay? So when you go to Bybit exchange, all right, on the homepage here, you come down to um, this section here where it says um, cash your next trading opportunity, okay? Here you see different categories, okay? You see coins that are categorized as, as hot coins, okay? For now, as we speak right now, okay, these are the coins that are hot, okay? You see coins that are, you know, hot derivative coins, okay? It means that for these hot derivative coins, you can only trade them on, you know, the perpetual contract or features contract on Bybit, okay? And then you see leaderboard. Leaderboard is for those who are, you know, traders who are doing very well. Then if I use this arrow to scroll, to my right, you see top gainers, okay? You want to pay attention to this list as well. You see top gainers, and then the last option here is the new listing, okay? The new listing, I, I don't have anything with that. So what I want us to look at is first the top gainers, okay? We are going to look at this top gainers list, all right? And see how we can benefit from it. Then the next section we'll be looking at is the hot derivatives. If you are going to be trading derivatives only, okay? If you are going to be trading features, um, then you need to look at this um, top derivative section, okay? And then if you want to trade, because some of the coins you see, some of the hot coins you see here can only be traded on spot, okay? So if you want to trade spot, you can equally look at the spot market or look at some of this coin if you can trade them on spot, okay? Because some of the coins you see here, you can trade them on spot, but you can't trade them on features. And some of the coins you see here can only be traded on features and both on features and the, on, the, on the spot market. All right. So what we want to do in order not to get confused of the coins you are going to trade or how to know a coin that is pumping. Okay. Personally, what I advise for beginners, if you are just starting out, okay, and you want to trade coins, okay, if you have a lot of money, let's say a thousand, two thousand dollars in your account, and you want to trade, even if it is only spot, just focus your attention on trading BTC and Ethereum. All right. BTC and Ethereum because the moves in this market can actually you know, influence every other coin you see in the market. But some of these coins that pumps, there, there is a reason why, you know, this particular coin has increased, okay, in the past 24 hours for 15%. There is a reason why this coin has increased for 9%, okay. There is a reason why all of these coins you are seeing here is pumping, okay. And then if you look at the traded volume, you see 106 million, 611 million, um, $11,000, okay. You see $341 million, all right. These are all the traded volume. So the higher the amount okay it means 
you know more opportunity in that because there is a reason why these coins are pumping so the higher the traded volume the amount of traded volume that this coin have the better the opportunity for you to trade that coin all right so basically what i do is if i come in here to the top gainers all right if i come in here to the top gainers you see the um top five um gainers on the list right here so what i did was as this infinity that you're seeing here that it has increased by 39 percent i saw this when it was 16 percent okay so when you see this what i normally do is to click on it and that we open up that coin okay on the chart all right so you see here that i am under derivatives because um this is for fishers so i am under derivatives here all right and this will open up this coin for you okay so once it opens up the coin um i do all of my technicals on trading view but you can equally use because trading view is embedded into the buy bid exchange okay so you can equally do all of this on the buy bid exchange so i want to go to a higher time frame like the four hours time frame and look at that coin all right so when i saw that coin i think it was at this candle year when it was yes at 11 dollars 40 cent or thereabout okay so and it was around 16 17 percent or thereabout so what i did was to equally long the coin and the reason why I did that is because of the amount of traded volume for the past 24 hours that I saw. Okay, so that has actually increased to what you are seeing right here about 424,000, okay, or $24 million um, in the past 24 hours, right? So it means that those who are putting money into this coin, there's a lot of things they know that you don't know. So what you want to do is to join the trend, okay? So when you join early, please take note when you join early because I actually long this coin at around 11.40 cent and then I took profit around, um, you know, um, 12.60 um, cent, okay? I didn't even know that it was going up because it, it actually went, out, went up to around $13 before it started retracing back, all right? So what you want to do is first you look at the coin. If the, you see an opportunity that the coin is still pumping, is still, you know, there's still higher chance of it going to the upside, then you want to join the trend immediately and log the coin, okay? So another thing you can do is if I look at this coin on the daily time frame, okay? You see the reason why we have not break through this area here is because um, there is actually a strong resistance at this level, all right? There's actually a strong resistance at this level and there's another um, resistance at 13,000 or there about, up uh, $13, sorry. So there's another resistance at $13. So anything between these 12 to $13 or thereabouts. So I want to look at those resistance level and then put um, a line there. Because why I'm putting this line is that price will not just break, no matter how this pumps, okay? Price will not just break through this and start going to the upside. So there's every probability that as this price is pumping, okay, if it breaks this other minor resistance here, the major resistance level here, it will actually respect that level so when it comes to this area it will definitely start bouncing back so if i come to the four hours time frame you see that that is what is playing out okay so you come to that 13 level okay which is a major resistance there and then it's retracing back so in this case you want to look for an opportunity to short when you short you are not expecting to make you know um 100 return on this because it could just retrace back if i come to the one hour um, time frame here just like what you're seeing around this area Okay, this coin pumped this way and then retraced within this area and then started pumping up again. So if you don't want to take opportunity to short and take a little profit here, what you can do is to wait for this consolidation period to end. All right. So if this period ends, there's every probability that it will break to the upside. Okay. And there is equally a high chance that this can break to the downside. So all you just need to wait is, you know, to wait for this. Then if you want to short this coin, you need to wait for it to break you know the previous um higher high that you're seeing here all right so then you can short that for a long term and make some profit then what i do is when, once i see this area of consolidation i want to come to the 15 minutes time frame and look for an opportunity to short or long the market okay so if you see that this actually will go to retest that level of support or resistance okay depending on what whether you want to long or short the coin if you see that it's going to retest this level of resistance and come down, okay, you can actually take opportunity of this and make some profit from the market. For instance, if I bring my measurement to, let's say we short this from here, okay, this would have given you around um, 5%. Yes, this would have given you around 5%.
And then if you use 10x leverage, that is around 50% or, or there about 50% moving in market. Okay, so even if it is 2%, all right, even if it is 2%, you take, if you're using 10x leverage, 2% should give you around 20% or there about. So yeah, that would have been, you know, some money that you would have just scalped the market and exit the market. So once you're on the homepage here, you can just click on see more. And once you click on see more, it should bring you to the market here. So from the market, you can sort out this coin, whether it, if, it, if it is for spot trading, for derivatives, you can sort them out and see the coins that are doing very well in the market and decide to, you know, either long or short the coin, okay? I probably made money with um, this um, um, this coin, okay, when it was pumping, I equally got that notice, okay, saw that on the dashboard. And then because of the amount of, you know, traded volume for the past 24 hours, you see the traded volume, okay? Anything that is, you know, 1 million, 2 million upward, okay? Not to even talk of having $400 million and the rest traded volume. So it means that there is an opportunity for that coin to continue to move to the upside. So one thing I want you to take note of before um, I end this video is make sure that you're selecting your coin either from the hot coins, okay? Whether you want to trade spot or derivatives. Select your coins from the hot coins, from the hot derivatives, okay? Or from the top gainers, all right? From the top gainers. So you see the top gainers there depending on when you are seeing this, all right? So basically that is all I have for you in this video. I hope this video will be able to guide you to start making money. Once again, if you don't have an account with Bybit, make sure you use the link in the video description to sign up for an account for yourself. And if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, all right? So that you'll be notified whenever videos like this are published. I'm going to be making more of uh, buy bid video, how to trade spot, how to trade margin, and all of that, and some tricks, okay? Um, tips and tricks that you'll be using to make money on the buy bid exchange going forward. All right. Now to the airdrop, if you sign up with the link I've provided in the video description, you need to join my Telegram group. The link is equally in the video description. Let me know that you've signed up with my link, okay? Um, this is only for new users. If you have a buy bid account already, you, this won't work for you okay so i will send you this link you are going to claim this um airdrop okay which you can use to you know open up 500 um, dollars worth of usdt position so once you click on the claim button you will see an option to either long or short the market so it takes you to the bybit app depending whether you are opening it on the app web or on the app okay it takes you to the bybit exchange where you can open a long position so at the end of the day all right, you see all of the instructions there. Yeah, at the end of the day, you probably have $10 that is credited to your account. And if you don't get liquidated, if you don't lose this money, you can always use this money to trade on margin, to trade margins, okay? And when you use it to trade margins, the profit you are going to make, you are keeping 100% of that profit to yourself, all right? So make sure you sign up with the link. Let me know on the Telegram chat, and then I will send you this link to claim the airdrop for yourself. That is it for this video. Go ahead and practice everything I've showed you. And if you get results, do leave a comment in the video description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.